Hello there. It's me, and I don't have on any makeup. Um, today, I'd like to show you my, um, my makeup routine with a slight change. Uh, earlier, I was watching Jenna Whispering. Um, I love her, and one of her uh, videos showed her with no makeup, and it showed how she did her makeup from one of her uh, videos, and I thought that's a pretty good idea. I want to do a video today, and I thought, I'll just go ahead and, and make a video of me putting on my makeup. Um, please go easy on me. I'm 42, and, uh, and you know, I, I don't look 25 anymore. A lot of the videos, the ASMR videos that I've seen, show much younger women, and they get all up close to the camera, and I'm thinking, I your brave soul, but then again, you're quite a bit younger than I am, so you might not, you might not be so confident in you know, 20 years. Um, so, what I did to prepare, I don't have on any makeup. I did put on two products, and I'll show you what they are. The first one is this. It is Genucel Stem Cell Therapy for bags and puffiness under your eyes. It's a small tube, it's only 0.5 ounces. And it sounds quite nice. I have my microphone here, so I'm trying to get it to where you can hear it. So, I took just a little bit, a little dab, and put it under each eye and just did a circular motion to apply it and you let it absorb. And for the rest of my face, I used Chamonix Esotique RF uh, anti wrinkle treatment. It's a very nice, smooth uh, moisturizer and I love it. I've been using it for about four or five months and it's really my pores are a lot smaller my skin feels a lot better and I really like it and I've almost used up this tube I use this in the mornings it's here and at night I use this Chamonix DFS deep firming serum it's a vitamin C serum and a, a bottle like this will last me about five months you just use a little bit and you and you rub it in it feels oily but it soaks right in and i use this at night after i wash my face and remove all my makeup but today i've, I've done the the moisturizer and the under eye treatment so now what i will do is I'm going to do two things. The first thing is this Maybelline Master Concealer. It's in a light, number 20 light color. A little tiny tube. I just bought this. In the past, I have used this Sheer Cover Duo Concealer in a light medium color. And what you do with this, just take a brush you get a little and you put it under and you use the pad of your finger to just dab it in like that. But today I'm actually not going to use that. Since I, I just bought this recently, I've been I've been trying this out and it doesn't take much. Just a little bit. So you just get a little bit on your finger. You don't need much at all. This is a very small amount, and I'm going to put it, I'm just going to dot it right under my eye like this. I won't be able to look directly at you the entire time. I have a mirror in front of me, so I can see what I'm doing. And you just, you don't, you don't rub it. You just sort of pat it like that under your eye, and I kind of go around a little bit like that. A little more. Just a little. You 
can overdo it very easily if you're not careful. And I got a little bit much, but I do actually put a little on my nose. Um, I have trouble with redness around my nose. I'm not really sure why I don't drink. I'm not a, <laughs> it's not a gin blossom or anything like that. <laughs> I don't drink. I don't have anything against it. I just don't really care for it. Every now and then I'll have a drink, but it's pretty rare. It has to be a very special occasion. Okay. And I'm just doing my nose too. Like that. Okay. I said there were two things. There are actually three. I forgot one. It's this. And this is a this is a sample size. Um I have a larger one, but I bought this one first just to try to see if I liked it, and I really did. It's Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and it's wonderful. I can't say enough good things about it. You can you put this on your eyelid where your eyeshadow is going to go, and it really holds it in place all day. It doesn't g get weird on you or anything. It, it's the eye the eyeshadow stays right where you want it, and it doesn't take much of this. And I still have a little bit of the concealer on my fingers, but that's okay. So get just a little bit, and I delicately, gently rub it across my eyelid and up to just under the eyebrow, like that. Okay, and then you do the other side. And this stuff really is wonderful. I love it. Um, it's more expensive than any other shadow eyeshadow primer I've ever bought, but it works way better. And it's definitely worth the price, in my opinion. I'm not a paid advertiser or endorser. I'm just telling you that this, personally, I like it. Okay. Now, that's done. Now, I know I look very washed out. The light in here is a bit much. I couldn't really find a way to make it look any darker without it um, being too dark. So I apologize. For the rest of my face, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Youth Code BB Cream. And it has, it's a broad spectrum S SPF sunscreen, SPF 15 in a light color, because I have pretty fair skin. So what you can do is open it up, sorry, and get some on your finger, and I apply it in sort of a circular motion, tending to brush up, but then lightly running my fingers down, like that. Gently, very gently. You just sort of massage it in, like that. Going a bit over my ears, down the neck and jawline. As you can see, I'm not using a lot, and I am distributing it. And um, dark circles under my eyes are uh, have been a problem for me for a long time. I think it's at least partly genetic. My mother and grandmother, and my mother has the same problem, and my grandmother also had them. Um, and you'll, you'll have to forgive me for the way I say on today. I've been very sick all week. I have been really, really sick. I have um, bronchitis and a sinus infection. And added on top of that, apparently I, I have a cold in addition to those two things. That the antibiotics have not helped at all. I'm still very stuffy and achy and sleepy and all the other dwarves grumpy and <laughs> yeah that's me I am not well this week okay
I end up with a little on my fingers. So what I do, I'll just take up washcloth or, or whatever and wet it just a little bit and wipe it off. Okay, now, while that kind of sets a little bit, what I like to do, I'll take this. This is an Alme Intense, Intense Eye Color. Um, it's an eyeliner, but sometimes I will actually use it on my eyebrows. I have never plucked, I have, I'm sorry, I have never plucked my eyebrows. I've, I never got into doing that. Um, but they still, as I've gotten older, they look, they're getting kind of skimpy over here. So I don't do anything elaborate to them. I don't use, you know, an eyebrow brush and all that. I don't do that. But I will take this, this pencil because it's a nice, it's a nice brown color. I take that and just sort of lightly, very, very lightly trace over my eyebrows just a little. I don't go crazy with it. Just a little bit to make them stand out just a little bit more. I don't I don't get all fancy with it. Um there. Okay. Um recently I have been using a different type of powder for my face. And before I use it, I tap the bottom and then I tap the top. This is Southern Magnolia Minerals um, Effusion Mineral Glow. It's a very fine powder. I don't know if I'll be able to show you or not, but it's a um, very, very fine, fine powder. And this is, um, I think it's a butternut color. What I do have this big old kabuki brush and I tap it in there just a little tap 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 and I get some onto the brush not a lot just a little and then I will hold it on my hand and sort of bump it down into the brush like that okay so in a circular motion, I go over my face, like that. And to me, it seems to be sort of, it gives your face sort of an airbrushed, but still natural looking finish. It's not super thick, it's not cakey or fake. It's very light, it feels good. And, you know, if I feel that that's not enough, I can always do more. I can add more if I like. So you just tap the brush. Settle it in like that. And you keep going until you are satisfied with the appearance. Okay. I think that's good. And then I'll put this away. step for this part. I have this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in a color called Ticket to Brazil. And I've used quite a lot. I don't use much. I just tap it in a few times. Like that. And again, tap the brush. Tap it like that. Now, you have to have a very light hand when you do this. And, and the light actually made me, made me so look so washed out that you can't really tell what I look like. <laughs> I'm sorry. Typically, typically I apply my, my, um, I don't do the bronzer over the entire face. I will make a three from here to here to here and from here to here to here and a little bit here. Not always, but typically that's what I try. Like that and just gives you a little bit of color. All right. Now, if 
for my eyes. I'm going to use a liquid eyeliner. I know a lot of people don't care for them. I use the liquid on the top. I'm going to try to do it a little differently though, and it may turn out horrible. <laughs> so, it's a very fine tip. And I got this at the dollar store, and to me it works just as well as any expensive eyeliner does. So we've already got the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer on the eyelids. And this, we're just going to go around the top, and we're going to try to give it a little wing. I'm going to try to wing my eyeliner, which I've never done. And if it looks horrible, you can laugh at me if you like. It's okay. So start in the corner. I come across. And then I come back. And any mistakes I make, I always have Q-tips handy to clean it up. And I usually do <laughs> make a mistake. Okay. Here goes nothing. Alright. And we're going to try the other one. Be willing to bet they won't match. It takes a pretty steady hand. Otherwise, you poke yourself in the eye, and let me tell you, it doesn't feel good when you do that. <laughs> it stings. <laughs> mm. And you get a little more. That one actually. This is LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner, and like I said, I got it at the dollar store, and it's black. I also have a brown one. It's pretty nice. And I have a, um, a pearl metallic silver one. I think I found this, um, I don't think I got this at the dollar store, but it was only like a dollar fifty somewhere. This is the one I use the most, but I do not use it on the bottom. All I do is make a mess. So for the bottom, I go with just a standard black pencil. And this is an e.l.f. Um, brightening eyeliner pencil. And I'm going to do the bottom now. And I always have to go back and touch this up because it always looks bad. And I'm going to try to bring it out to meet that top wing. And it's gonna look a little bumpy and smudgy, but I'm gonna I'm gonna fix it in a minute. I'm fighting the urge to pull my mouth down like that. <laughs> I normally do that because I'm usually by myself when I do my makeup. I like the peace and quiet. <laughs> I look like a drunk Cleopatra. Alright. So tip and I know this is wrong and you shouldn't do this 
but I've been doing it for 25 years probably and I haven't died from it yet. Yes, I do just stick it in my mouth. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> that. Now what I'm going to do is take this brush. This is something else I've, I have not done. I'm going to use this palette, which is some no-name um, palette I've had for a while. And it has all kinds of different colors. I'm going to take the dark. Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to use the not the darkest, but next to the darkest. And, um, I'm going to just line my brow bone right here. Oh, it's too dark. It's way too dark. I'm afraid I got it too dark. And I look like I got two sets of eyelids. Hmm. <laughs> It's just experimentation. So I'm going to take a lighter shade and go up under here. Well, that's not what I wanted. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to do something about that. Yeah, that's, that's not good. <laughs> okay, that's alright. I'm not going anywhere today. I can look silly, it's alright. I don't want to look silly in my next video, though. So I'm going to try to wipe that off <laughs> with my little washcloth. Oh my, it's not coming off. That's okay. I have a fix for everything. And my fix for this problem is some Equate, it's Walmart, generic eye makeup remover. And I like it because it's not oily. It doesn't um, irritate your eyes. I'm gonna put a little bit on a Q-tip and just brush it over that part and come back over it with the dry side and it's going to look really weird for a minute we'll see if we can fix that this was just an experiment and I can tell you um, Maria, gentle whispering when she did it looked a whole lot better <laughs> she knows what she's doing and I do not I just love her though. Um, I started looking around at ASMR videos probably three years ago. I got into um, watching some and I saw one of her videos and I was instantly hooked. I loved her. I love her voice. I love her accent. She's from Russia. I just love the way she talks. Okay, I'm just going to um, try to patch this up a bit and make it at least somewhat presentable for my video, and I am not doing a very good job, but say la vie. <clears throat> go with the darker color right here. Well, no, it's not perfect. 
actually knew what I was doing, it probably looked better. Hmm. All right. I'm going to go with a little mascara. This is a uh, Maybelline Crate Lash. It's a classic, and I figure if it ain't broke, don't fix it. What I would like to try to do today for another video is um, I'm going to take my accent and turn it up a notch. And I don't mean it to be, I'm not making fun of anybody. I'm not saying that people who have a twangier accent are, you know, there's anything wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I would just like to do a video um, where I'm going to sort of put my accent on steroids. <laughs> and we'll see how that turns out. And in this video, um, it's going to be a role play video of a manicure. There's going to be some reading, some whispering, and a more pronounced southern accent. Sounds a lot like the town where I grew up. You would hear, you would hear people who talk like this where I grew up. All right. That is going to have to do it for now. So before I take my hair down, I'm going to show you my earrings. They're clip-on, and they're very sparkly. Lots of detail to these earrings. Let's see. Okay. So there it is. I'm going to add a little bit of L'Oreal Lalique. It's kind of a cross between a lip gloss and lipstick. And it's very small. And this is a very neutral color. It is. The color. Oh, here it is. Choco Lalique. Choco Lalique. And it is retractable like lipstick. Alright. So, this is me in bad lighting <laughs> with my makeup. And I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I will get the other video done and uploaded today. Thank you for watching.